last stage reading is So Nebraska, written by A.E. Sarver and Michael Keir, and directed by Deborah Emily. So Nebraska, the characters, Michael, a man in his 20s, Ashley, a woman in her 20s, and Jim, the owner of the gin. <laughs> Lights up on Ashley and Michael driving silently as Ashley pulls the car over into a parking lot. They sit in uncomfortable silence for a brief moment. You said, Michael, do you want to go to dinner? And I said, sure. And usually after dinner, you take the person home. This is not my house. Because you need to face this fear. How much are you paying? Turn her. What? Turn her. I'm sorry, was that a number? 25. A month? Correct. And you are using their services. I am. I'm paying for a service that I could use. It's like insurance. I have gym insurance. If there's any time I could say, ah, I sure wish I could be sweaty and gross right now, I have that option to come here. Michael, we're in our 20s. We have no room to be paying for something we don't use. I feel like I have a rebuttal to that. Okay. Just go in and cancel the membership. I can't. What? I said I can't go in and cancel the membership. Are you, wait, are you panicking? I'm not panicking. I'm just not able to do it. When was the last time you went to this gym? Who can say, really? Month? Was it, uh, no, no, it wasn't last month. Two months ago? I feel like, no, November. <laughs> what was that? No, not two months ago. November? Michael, you've been paying $25 a month for a service you're not using? But I have access to. That's $150 down the drain. Go in right now. Right. No, I hear what you're saying but I can't. Okay, then why don't you call them? How about you call them? Uh... And when they ask you why I sound weird, you say you have a cold, which is the reason why you can't come to the gym anyway. I'm not calling and saying I have a cold. Uh, call them and say your leg is broken. Better yet, tell them you were a victim of, of a shark attack and your leg was ripped off. Michael, I'm not calling for you. Then you go in for me, as me. Uh... Hear me out. Focus shifts to another part of the stage that is the gym. Jim stands behind a table, appearing to be busy. Ashley enters. Uh, hello, I'm Michael. I'm here to cancel my gym membership. You're not Michael. Are you assuming my gender? Here we go again, you typical cis heterosexual males pushing your straight agenda. I knew canceling here was the right choice. Good day to you, sir. Or ma'am. <laughs> Scene shifts back into the car as Michael looks highly satisfied with his idea. Yeah, I can't do that. Why not? Because I'm Republican. <laughs> You're fiscally conservative at best. <laughs> Just go in. I can't go in. Why not? Because I'm allergic. What are you allergic to? <laughs> It's really hard. I'm allergic to sweat. Scene focused back, back on the gym with Jim still behind his desk looking busy. Michael enters. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Sorry to say, but I have to cancel my membership here. Oh, why? When you know it, I'm allergic to sweat. Can I get a drop on me? I'm allergic to sweat. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a new thing. Doctors are calling it a remarkable change in my body chemistry. First and last of its kind. Uh, don't look it up. If something happens to my sweater locker, this, who's to say? Doctors are baffled. Uh, sweat. Yep. Oh, oh no, oh, it's happening, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to leave. The scene shifts back to the car. <laughs> Ashley cuts Michael off in laughter to his idea. That's not going to work. Why? He won't buy it. <gasps> but I will. The scene is back to Jim in the gym, still behind the desk. Michael enters, carrying a piece of paper. Hello, Jim. How are things going? Great, Michael. I haven't seen you in six months. What's going on? 
Oh, I've been saving up money. Oh, for what? The gym. We didn't raise our gym membership. Right. This is mine now. I went to corporate, bought the whole gym. Uh... You can go now. Thank you. Scene shifts back to the car. Ashley looks at Michael with doubt in her eyes. So you're going to buy the gym. The $150 you paid for the membership has been the past six months. Down payment or investment. Take your pick. I know you have some money, but not that much money. Okay, fine. What if you help me? Michael claps his hands at the scene, focuses back to the gym. Ashley storms inside, looking around wildly in a jealous rage. Where is she? Excuse me? I'm not talking to you. Where is she? S sweetheart, I, uh... No, not another word from you. It's you with the face. Who is this girl? I don't see a girl. The homewrecker in the back with the pink tank top and the booty shorts that tell you she's up to no good. Who is she? In the back room? So you see her too. Michael has been telling me I'm using my imagination. <laughs> That's just a selfie of me working out. I'm not with her. Liar, you're going to cancel his gym membership right now. She storms out. I'm so sorry. I have to go and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> shifts back to car where Ashley is staring forward. No. Okay. Takes a lighter out and lights it, smiles at Ashley. No. However. Yeah? Scene focus goes back to the gym. Ashley enters with a briefcase. Michael follows sheepishly behind her. Are you the gym that is in ownership of this establishment? Yes opens briefcase to expose papers, takes one out and hands it to Jim. My client is having issues. Here's your affidavit fee in court on Thursday. If you want to get out of this, you must cease and desist gym membership effective immediately de facto. You are not an amicus curiae. Because of due process, this is an exclusionary rule. Am I going too fast? I didn't know you knew so much about law. Law and order. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how about you just tell him I'm dead? Runs out. He died. <laughs> Focus returns to car where Michael and Ashley have begun to fight. Why wouldn't me being dead work? I just th think that no, the gym you is need to just hear me out. Also, I would be dead in the ground and I wouldn't be able to go to the gym because my muscles would be decaying anyways and you would do it because of friendship. Silence. Tell him I moved to Nebraska. Focus returns to the gym. <coughs> Ashley is already at the desk and delivers the following line with the same inflection Michael gave. You moved to, to Nebraska. Oh, what part? Looks at Michael, who is slightly off stage. Nomaha? Uh, Nomaha. <laughs> I never know that part. I have family there. In Nebraska. Focus returns to car where Michael and Ashley are still sitting in the parking lot. Just go in and cancel the membership. Be an adult. No! <laughs> Michael exits the car and runs off stage. Ashley sighs and runs after him. She calls after him and he continues to refuse. The audience hears an audible thud. Ah! Michael and Ashley return to the car. Michael looks defeated. This is why you need a gym membership. I, I, so I shouldn't cancel it? Right, and just work out. Both look at one another and pause, and then say the following in agreement. No. <laughs> Maybe I'm looking at this all wrong. Yes? Maybe I should be the one who gets his membership canceled. Finally, some sense. So I'll get kicked out. Focus returns to the gym. Michael enters screaming, flipping over equipment and damaging property. Ah, 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 what are you doing? Ah, ah, get out! Ah. Stops screaming, sets objects down, and answers calmly. Thank you. Focus returns to the car as Ashley begins to shake her head at Michael. Not okay. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably make me pay for the equipment. 
Good call. So what should I do? Cancel it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. What if spy music begins to play? I said, spy music begins to play. As Ashley and Michael put masks on, crawling step, roll one after the other, baby powder, laser, crawl under, run to the other side of stage, into the gym, and begin to type on the computer. Then an alarm rings, police sirens follow. Come out with your hands up. He'll never take us alive, Jim! Gunshots are heard off stage. <laughs> I'm shot, Ashley! Oh. <coughs> Come closer! Focus is abruptly brought back to the car where Ashley has had enough. No, stop! You're getting out of this Jeep and canceling the membership right now! You won't call? No! I thought an allergy to sweat was good! No! You won't help me? No. Not even the crazy girlfriend one? Absolutely not. Breaking and entering and, and gunfire and action? Silent stare of disapproval. Let's revisit me dying. I could make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll do it? Michael. Fine. Wait, really? Modern ideas. Great. So. Motions to get out helps Michael out, pushes Michael out. <laughs> okay, I'll just face my fears. It's a leap of faith. I'm an adult. Here we go. Okay. Michael takes deep breath. He takes a few steps, looks back at Ashley, confident pose toward <laughs> off stage. Jim comes out. Hey, Michael. I haven't seen you in a while. We're close tonight, but I'll catch you tomorrow, all right? Uh, Oh, oh man, I was I was really for a ready ready for a hard workout. Yeah, see you tomorrow, bright and early tomorrow morning. See you. Michael slowly walks back to car, gets inside, and buckles his seatbelt. Ashley and Michael sit in silence for a moment. So Nebraska lights out. <laughs> written by Michael Keir and A.E. Sarver mm -hmm. in the role of Michael Gaston Beltran, in the role of Ashley Deborah Frizzy, and playing the role of Jim Phil Shipkowski.